Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming and in this episode we are gonna uh, do our second hay cutting. Uh, however, we're gonna do things a little bit differently this time. Uh, so first of all, as you can see, I've X'd out uh, the fields, uh, or at least sort of kind of did anyway, to see if I can preempt the missing of the corners. Um, so we'll see how, how well that works. And then what I'm gonna do once I get the mower and the uh, auto drive trailer, that guy over there started. I'm gonna jump in the New Holland, uh, which I have kind of, well, I can't really see very well, but it's over on the other side of the silos with the V-rake. And do the two little patches. I've already cut those. I cut those first out of the recording. And then, you know, maybe see if I can pick up some of the hay from the X's to just kind of, you know, keep ahead of things. Uh, okay, so here's here's what we're gonna do different. We've, we've had quite a bit of success last few times using a course play that basically does nothing but headlands and spirals inward. So we're going to do that this time around too, because um, I, I, that just seems to work really well. Uh, so we'll get that started first. So we already got uh, the mower on the field here. So we're going to go and open up uh, course play. Hold on a sec. You need to be up here. Okay, and then we're going to get rid of that course and we're going to create a new course and let's do let's do 10 headlands for uh for field 53 and 54 that'll probably work just good uh just well rather and everything else i think we'll keep the way that it is okay let's generate the course take a look at it make sure it all looks good uh yeah that looks pretty good there okay and then uh, we're going to go to here we to field 53, 54, we're going to save this course, activate it, and we're going to call this F5354 um, Spiral Hey. Okay, good. And then we want you to start at the first waypoint and go to it. Okay, so we'll let him get started. Now, um, I did find out, I looked it up online, uh, I did find out how to remove all of the auto drive waypoints and pretty much just wipe them out. Uh, the way that you do that is, what you have to do is you have to start Farming Simulator, start the game first, and then go into your save file and, and find the auto, auto drive config file and then just delete it. But you want to start Farming Simulator first, because if you start, if you delete it and then start Farming Simulator, it'll download what you know what you have saved on the cloud, and and it'll it won't work. Um, so yeah, so we have no, we've completely wiped out all the auto drive points because it was just getting to be a mess. And so it might be that when we use auto drive, you know, instead of having permanent a bunch of permanent courses, we might just create them fresh or maybe just have a few i don't know we'll, we'll, we'll see how this is going to work but the main thing that's going to be different this time around is we're going to go the other direction because i need to fill up the the silo on the left this time the one on the right is completely full of silage however if i if i go the same direction as before auto drive is still going to fill that other silo back up because i can completely fill it again with grass but the problem is it won't turn into silage because there's no room for the silage. So it, it can basically store a full load of silage and a full load of grass, but the grass doesn't ferment because it, it can't go anywhere, so it has to stay as grass. So that's not going to do us any good. And I'm still trying to figure out, you know, what, what the best solution is for that. It's going to become even a bigger issue, you know, when our third hay cutting goes around. But I may not be able to avoid moving the silage after it ferments. And if that ends up being the case then what I'll probably do is I'll set up another auto drive course and just have uh, an AI driver you know haul the silage out of those over into our big 10 million liter silo that we you know set up in the last episode and just dump it in there um, you know again not ideal because I don't want to have to move it twice but we might not have an, a, a better way of doing it unless I can figure out another way to do this so I'm, I'm still thinking about it, but uh, we should be able to make it work today. All right. So anyway, let's go ahead and set up a new auto drive course here. And so we're going to uh, hit the record button. 
And again, we're going to keep the the starting target out here. Oh, it looks like I have to uh, set the... Oh, no, not here. Uh, let's see. No, we don't want it to auto-connect. If silo's empty, wait. What does that mean exactly? How to pick up and deliver driver reacts to an empty silo. Oh, I think that means... Well, drive on. Oh. Well, that still isn't going to help us, though, because it can still put grass in the silo. And this it, this seems to me like this would be for loading anyways and not dropping off. We're concerned more with dropping off. Uh, yeah, we want to use folders. i got to do all of this stuff over again. Line height above tractor. Uh, we don't want to see the next path. Uh, show markers, switch to markers. Duh, 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 duh. Okay, let's start with that, and then if I have to adjust some more things later, I, I, I will. Okay, so let's start this over again. So we want to start this, uh, start a recording. Oh, I guess we've already... Wait a minute, what? No, uh, let's start over again. Delete everything. Okay. All right, now move forward. And we'll call this our... We're just going to call this load. All right. And then we're going to swing around here. And the reason I'm putting this out here again is because there's lots of room for... for the AI to maneuver. Whereas if I put it on the other field, it's going to be up against the trees or the barns, and it might cause us some issues. Okay, so now we're going to have it go through this way which means it's going to hit the silo we want it to load first, and in theory, that's the one it should load. And we'll put the unload waypoint right here. Okay. And then we'll just drive it around and complete the loop. Okay, stop recording. Connect you to there. Good. Okay, so that takes care of that. Now we want this to be load and this to be unload. And it's grass. We want to turn this off. Um, we want to load the spiral course that we just created here, spiral hay. And activate it. We want to turn... Uh, course play on here and then let it get started. Okay, let's just watch it and see what it does. So it just goes right on through. And then it should switch to course play. There it goes. Okay, so it switched to course play. Apparently, you had to drive its course first. Uh, I did load the uh, the forest wagon up with bond silage again, so that's full. And it should get started here. Looks like my Xing is working so far. They're not. He's not. Hasn't missed any patches of grass. Okay, nice. Let's let him go at it. And while he's doing that, I'm going to jump in the other one and start taking care of the little side plots. While I'm thinking about it, let's close this. Oh, can we not close this? I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we'll just have to pretend like we can close it.
Okay, we are full, and we're gonna have to fold the V-Rake in order to get in here. Oh, it looks like our dude's unloading too, and it looks like he unloaded in the right silo. Fantastic. All right, that's what we wanted to see. I just wanna double check, because this silo was empty when we started, so it should be, it should have around 50,000 liters in it. Yes, it does. It has exactly 50,000 liters in it. All right, it's working. It's working, guys. It's absolutely working. Okay, we just, we're just we gonna tip into here ourselves. Uh, why am I not getting the tip, tip thingy? Okay, and then if I just tip it, okay. I mean, it's working. I just don't know why it's not giving me the the prompt because usually you see the little thing that pops up it just says press the I key. It's obviously going in there though, so I'm just gonna double check, but I know it did. Yeah, see now there's almost a hundred thousand liters in there. Okay. Yeah, that was weird. I don't know. Okay, so well, other than that, so far, so good. Let's keep at it here. All right, so it looks like our mower's done. We'll get to the end of this field and turn around and then go get the mower going on the next field. I might, next time I might actually try 11 headlands, but another advantage of doing this is we, we have fewer of these little spots that they usually miss on the up and down. But uh, this actually is working out really well so far. Where's he going? Oh, he's probably dropping off another load, I guess. He's driving really fast. <laughs> oh, I got to reset that driving around the corner uh, thing, too. Uh, we got we missed a few little patches on the diagonal there. Okay, that's fine. This one seems pretty good, though. Man, I'm stuttering an awful lot. Everything over there looks pretty good. Let's just go check over on this end. Yeah, a couple spots here too, looks like. Nothing too bad though. Okay, that all looks good over there. Yeah, that dude's, uh, so far, seems to be doing well. Knock on wood. <laughs> okay, so, same thing. We're going to... We'll do the tri-fields first and just set it to a bunch of headlands. Something in my eye. Uh, okay, so let's see. We want to clear this course. Create a new course for this field. I don't know. Ten headlands is probably too much. Why don't we try six? Let's generate a six headland course and see what it does. It leaves a bunch of little short up and downs. What if we try a seven? It didn't seem to change it. So it looks like six is the max it can do. Okay, good enough. All right, Um. so close this, go to here, go to try fields. Uh, save course, activate. There we go. Okay. First waypoint, go to it. Oh, he just mowed over me. Okay. So, let's get back to 
our forage wagon, which is right here. Okay, we have our first error. And it's that same weird thing before where it just decides it can't reach it. Even though it's done it successfully the first three or four times. <laughs> I don't understand it. Um, so, let's finish up this little spot here. It's just sitting there on the field. Okay, let's um, cut the engine there. And go over to this guy. So, you. Why can't you just. Driver 1050 can't reach unload. Alright, what if we turn course play back on? See what he does. He's either thinking or he's not. <laughs> I'm going to say not. Okay, well, we'll have to drive him back over to get him on course again then, I suppose. That happened a few times last time, too, and I don't... There's no rhyme or reason for it that I can tell. Okay, let's get you on the course. It says drive to unload point. Okay, so he's back in business. Um, again, don't know why that happens, but... That's, uh, I guess that's how we have to deal with it when it does. All right, back to this. All right, guys. Well, um, you get the basic idea. Things are going reasonably well. Uh, we just had the one error. So I'm going to keep on keeping on here, bring you guys back uh, with an update here in a little while. All right, guys. So we have completely filled up the second silo so I think what we're gonna have to do for now is we're gonna have to put grass in the first silo again and then we're gonna have to start taking silage out of there and put it in our multi-fruit silo but I think the the solution to this I haven't completely figured out exactly how it's gonna go down but the solution to this is we need we need to not have these silo fill points lined up with one another. So that way we can have separate auto drive courses per silo. That's that's really what we have to do to make this work, I think. So I have I'm going to have to figure that out, but what I've noticed will happen is once once they fill the silo up, then he'll just sit there and, you know, every 30 seconds or so he'll try and dump some more and of course it doesn't work and he just keeps derping like that. So um, what we have to do, or, or the way that I got this to work before, is I was able to create a second further out uh, target. And so if we just go maybe to here, let's say. Let's select that, and we're going to call this unload2. Okay, and oh, oh, I guess it only, okay, never mind. It, it, it only sets it on the one that he's attached to. Okay, so, uh, how do I get rid of this one? Uh, 
I don't want to get rid of load. Unload two. Oh, well, I guess you can get rid of it that way too. Okay, so what we have to do is turn this off. Oh, now it, now the trigger comes up. It must be, auto drive must be interfering with that somehow. Interesting. Okay, so let's start you up. And if we, put, unload trigger a little further out probably that one's fine well let's go one more all right now we'll call this wait a second is the unload two still there no it's gone right okay um so go here Okay, and then we change this to unload to. I think what'll happen is, let's get him back around this way. But again, like I said, this is, this is just a temporary fix because I gotta redo this so the fermenting silos are not lined up with each other. That, that's really what it boils down to here. Okay, so let's get him on the path and then just start him up again and see what happens. Because we've changed him now to unload two. Okay, he's probably not going to unload now because... Oh, you know what? I'm going to have to... Get this other guy out of the way. Is he coming back around? Here, let's see if we can offload really quick before he gets over here. I mean, he should, theoretically, just queue up behind us, but I'd rather be out of the way for this first test. So yeah, we're just going to have to take the silage, the fermented silage, out of here and put it in our own, or, or, or the, the main silo for now. Because otherwise, wait, what are you doing? Otherwise what will happen is um, the grass will just sit in there and it won't ferment. Okay, that guy's not doing anything, though. You know, too, now that he's stopped, this is probably a good time to check his bond silage level. It's probably very low right now. Uh, yeah, 8%. Okay, so here, let's just... Uh, let's turn this off and... I'm going to go um, fill up his bond silage tank. And let's actually just drop this grass off for first, too. gonna probably have to get some more bond silage for the next for the third hay cutting okay um looks like there's still some hay that needs to be picked up on that field so we're just gonna put him on the track and 
he's still on the right thing there. Turn course play back on. He's on unload two. And he should be back in business. We'll see. Okay, I'm gonna get back at it here. I'm um I'm just doing all of field 50 myself. Um and then when he's done with the other field, I'm gonna get him started over here and I'll help him finish up too. Okay, so I'll bring you guys back with an update in a little bit. All right, guys, um, we're back, and the uh, hay is almost done. Well, the hay is done, uh, so I have all three tractors uh, rolling right now, meta rolling. And what we're going to do next is we're going to hook up to the Stroutman trailer here and set up an auto drive course to move the fermented silage out of the first silo over to the main our main silo uh, looks like I got a little too close there all right hold on I'm stuck oh, come on man not cooperating <laughs> I'm tired I need to go to bed but I wanna um I wanted to at least get started on this. There we go. Alright, so <coughs> excuse me. What we wanna do here is <clears throat> go over to excuse me guys. Yeah, this silo over here. far silo oh uh, you know what we're gonna have this probably have the same problem so we need to come from this other direction yeah I, I'm gonna definitely move move these silos so they're not their pathways aren't lined up with each other okay so let's do this <sighs> this is the one we want to pull from so I'm just going to go right about here and start recording. One more. There we go. Okay. So we're going to call this silage load. So it loads the silage and then drives this way. goes past the tipping that should work whoops and we'll call this unload silage and then uh, we just have to connect it back up. So I'll probably come around this way. Uh, we could go actually go over that. Um, okay, hold on. Over that first bridge. Oh, I need to stop the recorder for a second. Okay, we'll start right here. Okay, record, connect these two. And so it'll come back over this bridge. I need to smooth this down a bit. It's quite a bump there. And then back around this way. There we go. Okay, so stop recording, connect this to this. Um, all right. I want to 
damage detection in these folders. Yes. Corner speed. Okay, yeah, that's a 70%, so that's okay. So now, what we should be able to do is change this to that's load, unload, drive, pick up, and deliver. So we want this to be silage load, and this to be silage, or I guess unload silage, and we want this to be silage. No, not snow, silage. Uh, okay, I think that's all we gotta do. Let's see what happens. Yep, he's loading it right now, look at that, awesome. Guess he's gonna turn the engine off and save fuel until he's completely loaded, that's fine. Okay, so while he's uh, or now that he's pulled some silage out of here, we should be able to start processing the new grass that we put in here. Uh, so, yeah, this grass here. And incidentally, we basically got 565,000 plus 313, so almost 900,000 liters of grass we pulled off in our second cutting, which is really nice. Really, really nice. Okay, so this we can activate now because there's a little bit of room for it to start putting it in there. And we activated this earlier, so it's already accumulating silage. And he's taken off to go dump. Yep, okay, so he didn't try and pull anything out of there, so that's great. Now, I want to try and chill this out a little bit real quick before he comes back, because he's probably going to go flying over the over that uh, bridge and <laughs> bad things might happen okay so let's go landscaping uh, smoothing and let's just try and smooth this down a little bit more here all right well there's still a bit of a bump there but we'll just see what happens all right let's run over here and see if he's offloading. It looks like he is. Oh. Why isn't he unloading? Oh, he he must have just finished unloading. Yeah, we have 51,999 liters of silage in our in here. Okay, cool. So, I mean, the good part about that is I can automate the moving of the silage, so at least I don't have to do it myself. It's still not really I, you know, what I ideally had in mind, but it, it is workable. So, yeah, we'll let him take care of that. All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. Uh, so, overall, I was really pleased with how, how this hay harvest went. I only had one other error where he couldn't, when he, where he said he couldn't find the load area. Um, so, that only, only happened twice for the whole entire harvest, which isn't bad. And otherwise, it worked, you know, quite smoothly. So, you know, net, before we do the next one, I've, I've got to reconfigure things here so that these, you know, triggers are not in line with one another. So that way I can create separate, specific auto drive, you know, paths to them. And then that should solve that issue we've had. So all it, it's, I know that that's the solution. It's just a matter of where on the property am I going to do that, you know, and position it so it looks good and all that. Um, what I might actually end up doing is putting them over here because we have lots of open space. We're not, we don't have trees and fences and barns and crap in the way, you know, we'd lose, we'd lose, you know, some of this hay, but I think this is probably a good spot somewhere over in here to set those up. So that's kind of what I have in mind, unless, you know, I come up with a different idea between now and then. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. We'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.